Hi, today I would like to show you how to make a custom handmade pins. Let's start with the items you're going to need to make your own pin. Shrink plastic sheets, mat patch, a pair of scissors, a piece of cardboard, Posca pens or colored pencils. Both will work, but for this project I decided to work with Posca pens because they make the whole process much quicker. You will also need some paper, pencil and piece of tape so you could sketch your design first. Time for sketching! Halloween is coming very soon, so I decided to make some relevant designs. But there is one more thing you need to do before drawing. You have to measure your working space. You might be wondering what do you need this cardboard for? It's your template which will help you determining size of your drawing and keeping all your pins in the same size. Mine is about 7x7 7 7 cm, but you can make it as big as you want to. You always have to make the drawing bigger than how you want it in the end, because later your pin will have to shrink in the oven. Keep that in mind while cutting your own template. First, I use template to cut out some paper from my designs and then I move on to sketching. Today I'm going to make a pumpkin, ghost, school and bath pins. Next, I'm taking piece of shrink plastic and cut out squares matching my little paper canvas and tape them to paper. Save remaining plastic for other project. The shiny part of plastic has to face your sketch, so you could trace your drawing on the rough side. Now it's time to trace your sketch to plastic. When you are working with white pen like I do, I recommend you to make the outline first and then take off paper and place plastic on something dark so you could have better look on what are you drawing right now. As you can see, I leave the ghost unfinished. I do that because before adding details, you want the base to be fully dried.
and now you can see me making a mess of this innocent bat. Sometimes less is more. It's time to cut out your pins. Be careful, because it's super easy to crack the plastic when you are working on small, round parts. Speaking of round parts, here you can see me having a mental breakdown over this little unlucky bat. At this point I just wanted to throw it away and pretend that it was never a part of this video. But I decided to give it one more chance and try to fix it later. Now you have to bake them. Depending on what shrink plastic do you use, time and temperature of baking may be different. Personally, I just put them into 180 degrees Celsius on parchment paper and watch them till they will shrink. It usually takes 4 to 5 minutes. After baking, you need to take them out to something flat and then press them with other flat thing. For pressing, I'm using cutting board. Now you can take a flat brush and cover them with thin coat of matte patch. Great thing about Posca pens is the fact that they allow you to save failed designs. I didn't want this bat to go to waste. So I painted it black. And the last thing you need to do is to attach a pin to your plastic. Glue the smaller part first. I recommend doing it in the center of your plastic piece. And here you can see skull pin I made beforehand. Making pins is super easy and your design possibilities are pretty much endless. With some patience and ideas you can craft your own unique piece of clothing. That's everything I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any upcoming video and thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome and see you next time. Bye!